everyone welcome to my sixth tutorial in this tutorial we'll be talking about the simple authentication as well as how to retrieve the data from the database so okay in previous tutorial we talked about the model and migration so in this tutorial now we'll be talking about the auth first of all to insert uh, the data into the articles we need one user we need some users so that he can store the articles so for that let's make an authentication simply type php audition make auth okay fine now let's go to here and refresh it go to the url register okay, fine uh, okay type john john at john.com PASS to RD password, PASS to RD password, fine. Hmm. Okay, so we login. So let's go to this and let's go to uh, articles table and let's insert some data here. So uh, let's insert Lorem here. So go to the let's write Lorem Ipsum. So Lorem Ipsum. Let's copy Lorem Ipsum here and let's paste it here. Okay, fine now. And from the zone user and let's update it as is today's date. Okay, fine. Now let's insert. Okay, let's insert two item. Okay, fine. Okay, let, okay. Lorem two. It's right here. Let's paste its same data and John. Okay, and here okay same. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think now two rows has been inserted. Okay, Lorem and Lorem two. That means now we are trying to retrieve Lorem and Lorem two here. Lorem and Lorem two. So go to the app. HTTP pages controller. Where we have seen data to the view, this main view, right? So <clears throat> just delete this array, just delete this array, and right here, new article, okay? Simply write a new article and let's, uh, okay, uh, let's do one thing. Okay, let's do one thing, not, let's not do like this, right? Okay, protected dollar articles. Yeah. and let's make a constructor here this articles equals to new article okay, fine this articles denote to this articles okay and now okay And here let's not this let's not do it in this way and just let's simply write download this articles now article object is already uh, articles is already your object of article class so we can simply call the this variable articles yeah there are these articles and we have to call all that means we are retrieving all the data but to retrieve whole data at once is not a good practice but in this case we are just retrieving the whole data and i'll be teaching you how we'll be doing page net in future lesson okay uh okay wait something that we can try fine let's do here to let this articles oh no this not work oh, okay fine now close app slash article yeah give the name and space of this article go to the article page where will the article class app inside app there is a article class inside app right so open it it is inside the app so app article okay fine Ok, 
guys calling the article but table is null that means we haven't given the table name okay let's give the table name protected dollar table is equal to table name is articles right you can simply call you can simply go to the database migration and your articles migration you can simply here see the your name what uh, table you are gonna be created here uh, this you are gonna create articles table yeah you create the articles table so you have to keep same table so that it could denote which table from this model so this model is denote, denoted to the articles table so we have written here articles good okay, fine and now let's do refresh again okay fine articles table right okay now uh, okay let's delete this and let's go to here and just retrieve article names let's see here okay okay now i got now we can simply do here plu skip block but suvj suvj is it is subject okay plus subject that means lower m and lower m2 you got this right okay now you can simply send this data to the you here so now you can simply refresh and you can simply view their articles uh we have already retrieved the data from the table lorem as well as lorem 2 just by refreshing it now again i'm again i'm saying you that articles is a variable in this variable we're storing the object of article class and from this object we are retrieving all the data that is in article table articles table we are retrieving all the data from there and from those table from that those data from this whole data we are blocking only the subject part we are blocking we are taking only the subject part so because we don't need others here so we are just taking the articles uh, subject name if you need more then you can do it okay now you can simply send this data to the view and everything is same we have already done before by retrieving how we can retrieve the data yeah we have already looked this data here okay so we can again uh, let's view uh, if you haven't uh, view this then this uh, was my previous tutorial yeah we have already done this part here okay thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you have any problem if you have any confusion about this tutorial then please don't forget to comment and please if you like this tutorial then please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much